Okay then gang, so in the last lesson we made some inline middleware functions for two different pages. We made one for the logout page which deletes the user cookie and navigates the user to the login page and we made one for the index page to act as a bit of a route guard and only let logged in users see it. Now when it comes to the authentication one I might want to apply the same kind of middleware function to another page on the site, for example the admin page. Now I could just add the same inline middleware manually to that page as well by copying the whole function right here and pasting it in, but that leads to code duplication and it makes maintaining and updating the code harder. So instead, we could make the middleware function in an external file and then we could reference that middleware in whatever page needs it. And this way, we'd only be making the middleware function once, making it much easier to maintain and update. So how do we do this then? Well, the first step is to make a new folder in the project root directory called middleware. This is where Nuxt expects us to make our middleware functions. Then inside of this folder, we make a file for each middleware function that we want to create. So I want to create some authentication middleware, which checks the authentication state of a user. And for that reason, I'm going to make a file called auth.ts. So I'm using TypeScript, but you can also use JavaScript if you prefer. But inside this file then is where we make the middleware function. Now, the way we do this is not just by making a regular function and exporting it. Instead, we need to wrap the middleware function in a built-in function provided by Nuxt, and that is called define Nuxt routes middleware. So write out this function first of all, and also invoke it. And then as an argument to that function, we create the actual middleware function that we want to run. So create that middleware function and don't forget to pass in the to and from arguments that we get in all middleware functions automatically. And now we have this function, we can flesh it out. And the functionality is actually going to be exactly the same as the one we define inside the index page itself. So we could just grab all of the logic from that function, copy it, and then go back and paste it inside the new middleware function we just created. And then finally, we also need to export this whole thing. So before where we use this define Nuxt route middleware function, we can say export default to export this. All right, so now we've created this external middleware file. We can use it inside whatever page needs it. Now, the way we do that is by going to the page and then using this define page meta, just like we already have done in the index. And then instead of the middleware property being a function, it can be an array of named middleware functions. So we can replace this with an array right here and then add the name of the middleware as a string to this array that we want to use. And the name of the middleware is the file name that we gave to it inside the middleware folder minus the extension. In our case, that's just going to be auth. So we can add that in right here as a string. Now, Nuxt knows to look inside a middleware folder for a file called auth.ts or JavaScript or whatever and it applies that middleware to this page. And when we use middleware this way, it's known as named middleware. And the great thing about this approach is that we can just use this middleware now in as many different pages as we want. So I could copy this whole thing right here and then head to the admin page and inside the script tags, I could just paste it in. And now this same auth middleware gets applied to this page as well, meaning that we're protecting both the index and admin pages against unauthenticated users. And now this is much easier to update for us because if we want to change the middleware, we're only making that change in one place where it's defined in its own file and we're not doing that in every page that uses it. All right then, so I'm currently not logged into the application. There is no user cookie and if I try to go to the home page or the admin page, well, it doesn't let me. It doesn't let me see those pages because under the hood it's running that middleware before we go into each page and it's checking are we logged in? No, we're not. Well, it redirects me back to the login page instead so we never get to see those pages. So I'm going to log in as Mario and then any old password. And when I do that, I can't see the index page and I can see the admin page. So this works. But the minute I try to go to log out again, well, if we try to go to those pages now, again, it doesn't let me. So this is all working. And we've done this now using named middleware. In the next lesson, we're going to look at something called middleware chaining.